What if a single nutrient you eat today could switch on the signals that tell your gut to rebuild itself faster and stronger? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and we're looking at how a cysteine-rich diet can activate the very stem cells that renew your intestinal lining, improving resilience after stress, illness, or medical treatments. I'm Alara Skye, and this episode focuses on clear takeaways from recent research. Cysteine doesn't just feed you. It helps trigger communication between your intestinal cells and immune cells, so regeneration happens on time and on target. Your gut lining replaces millions of cells every few days, but that pace depends on the right inputs. Cysteine, a sulfur-containing amino acid found in everyday foods like eggs, grass-fed meat, and raw dairy, stands out because it helps your body initiate repair, rather than waiting passively for damage to resolve. Researchers reported in Nature that increasing dietary cysteine boosted stemness in intestinal stem cells, meaning they divided and rebuilt tissue more efficiently. In practical terms, when your gut lining is injured, those stem cells form the construction crew. Cysteine supplies the go signal that mobilizes them. The team showed this using a mouse model, and while it's preclinical, the principles map to what you care about. Barrier integrity, inflammation control, and nutrient absorption. Mice-fed cysteine had thicker, healthier intestinal walls and faster renewal than controls that didn't receive extra cysteine. A key point is the repair loop between immune cells and intestinal cells. When the normal signal is active, repair accelerates. When the researchers blocked the signal or removed the immune cells that trigger it, healing stopped. Cysteine's value is that it helps flip that natural repair switch back on. There's also a metabolic handoff. Cysteine is converted into a compound that acts as the messenger telling cells to rebuild. If transporters that move cysteine into intestinal cells are blocked, the effect disappears. So it isn't just more protein. Your gut has to take up cysteine and use it to start the cascade. The findings extended to severe injury. After radiation, cysteine supplemented mice recovered structure and function of the small intestine more quickly, restoring barrier strength and absorption. The effect localized to the small intestine where protein digestion and immune activity are especially active. The study authors emphasized a practical angle. You can use a natural dietary compound to engage a repair program without relying on a synthetic drug that opens the door to supporting recovery during difficult periods, including chemotherapy or other stressors that injure the gut, in coordination with your medical team. Let's translate this to your plate. First, prioritize real food sources of cysteine daily. Pastured eggs, grass-fed beef, and raw dairy are dense options. If you're plant-based, cooked lentils and beans supply some cysteine, though in lower amounts. Consistency matters more than a single large serving. Second, match food complexity to your current tolerance. If your digestion is irritated, start simple while the lining stabilizes. Use easily digestible choices like white rice and fruit before you layer in heavier fibers. As comfort improves, expand gradually. Third, support the immune signals that coordinate repair. Daily sunlight exposure for vitamin D helps regulate immune balance. Proper breathing and grounding in nature can modulate stress patterns that otherwise slow regeneration, reinforcing the condition cysteine needs to work. Fourth, consider N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C, if you want an extra lever. NAC is a stable, supplemental form of cysteine that raises glutathione, your master antioxidant, which protects gut tissue from oxidative stress. Begin low, about 400 to 600 milligrams once daily, and take it with food. Increase slowly as tolerated. There are prudent cautions with NAC. Long-term use may reduce copper levels, so consider monitoring or taking periodic breaks. If you're taking an antidepressant or undergoing cancer treatment, Speak with your physician first, because interactions can occur. Starting too high can trigger uncomfortable detox-like symptoms, so keep the ramp gentle. Fifth, remove inputs that fight against regeneration. Avoid seed oils and ultra-processed foods common in fried items and restaurant dishes, 
which are high in linoleic acid, replace them with stable fats like tallow, guy, or grass-fed butter. If your gut is inflamed, avoid high-fiber foods until symptoms calm to prevent worsening endotoxin buildup. You'll know you're trending the right way when bloating eases, energy rises, and you tolerate a broader range of foods without payback. That's a sign the stem cell immune conversation is back online and your lining is renewing on schedule. Zooming back to the research perspective, the appeal here is coordination. Cysteine helps align multiple systems, stem cells, immune signaling, and antioxidant defense. So the small intestine returns to normal architecture faster after damage. That's meaningful if you're navigating stress, recovering from an illness, or rebuilding after a medical therapy. The broader implication is that amino acids can act as regulators, not just building blocks. In this case, cysteine serves as both a substrate and a signal, which is why the results looked different from simply adding calories or generic protein to the diet. If you're wondering how to start, pick a straightforward routine. Include a cysteine-rich food at one meal each day for the next two weeks. If you're sensitive to sulfur, begin with smaller portions and step up gradually. Keep your menu simple if you're flared, think white rice and ripe fruit, and stabilize before reintroducing complex fibers. Layer NAC only if you want additional support and can follow the low and slow approach with food, timing, and medical guidance if you're on interacting therapies. Maintain sunlight exposure, practice steady breathing, and plan outdoor time to keep your immune signaling steady. As your tolerance expands, continue avoiding seed oils and processed foods that inflame and block regeneration. Stay with stable fats and track subjective markers. Digestion, comfort, regularity, sleep depth, and steadier energy. As practical indicators that your intestinal lining is recovering. Here's your challenge. Over the next 14 days, add one cysteine-rich food daily. Remove seed oils from your cooking and, if appropriate, Start NAC at 400 to 600 milligrams with food while observing how your digestion and energy respond. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.